guys, it's Erica. I'm back again. I know it's been a while. Sorry. If you guys work retail during the holiday season, then you know exactly what I'm going through. In fact, I actually just, well, not just, but I actually worked earlier today and I decided that I wanted to do this for you guys because I was so excited. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. If you guys have seen Mary and Danny's, you would know that we all do this thing that's called Influencer. I actually got the Christmas box, which makes me really excited. It's called the Frosty Box. I just review products for this company. I'm not paid. I didn't purchase these. These are definitely complimentary. But if you are interested, I would definitely go to the website and sign up. Not only that, it's free. And something I really like about this company is that most of the stuff they send you in these boxes are actually full size they're not just little sample sizes the first thing i'm going to show you guys is actually a tea celestial seasons candy cane lane green tea and it's one of their holiday teas and as you see i already opened it because i wanted to try it for you guys it actually comes with two pack i've actually had a bad experience with peppermint tea so i was a little nervous to try it and unlike Mary, I don't like a strong tea, so I only used one bag, and I also saved the other bag for her. I really actually like this tea. It's not too overly minty, and it's nice, and I always add honey. Next thing I'm going to review is Fruit Vine Bites Strawberry. It's no preservative, it's low fat. I fully recommend these. Yeah, they're like the Peely twi uh, the Twizzlers, so... These are definitely awesome to have. I'm probably going to stick them in my purse for when I go to work and munch on them. I guess I can leave Mary some. Next product is Rimmel London's Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. It actually apparently removes waterproof mascara. This is the bottle. I'm actually going to, at the end of this video, test this out and remove half of my makeup. I actually have waterproof mascara on, so we're going to really try this out. It also looks like it's oil-free, which most makeup removers say they are and even after a little while I see them separate so I think that's all lies but this doesn't look like it's lying to me the next thing is McCormick Gourmet All Natural Time this is the bottle they actually gave me a nice size glass bottle and it smells like I just went out to a garden and freshly picked this most dry herbs to me always have like a dull scent to them and that actually doesn't anyone who cooks regularly knows how expensive spices can actually be and I don't I never realized that until I was older which is just a downer. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is Rimmel London's Scandalized Waterproof Eyeliner. It's in 001 number one black and this retails about five dollars as well so you guys can see it in black my face. Now hopefully my camera isn't blurry. Okay. Next we have, all right, so this is Expert Last Lip Color by NYC. It is 418 Sugar Plum. It actually doesn't look like a half bag color. Might actually have to try this. I'm not a big lipstick person, I'll admit. But if I find a nice color, I will be so willing to try it out. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is Eco Dry for Beautiful Healthy Hair Sleek and Shine Finisher Ultimate Comfort Lightweight Design. It looks like this in the package. So I'm not going to lie, the bristles feel kind of a little weird. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be for like a styling brush. Oh, it actually looks kind of nice. This is retailed for $11. And I'm curious, I will actually try this out too. I'm guessing this is for more like if you're blow drying your hair. Alright, and the last thing that I got, this is Boots number 7 Protect and Perfect Advanced Serum. It retails about 30 bucks because of how expensive it is. I have a little sample packet. I'll have to try it out and give a review on it. This is for first signs of aging. I don't think I'm having aging signs, but working retail I might. We're going to try this out and I'll let you know how this is. Alright, so we're actually going to try out this makeup remover. Apply cleanser to cotton ball. I'm actually using toilet paper, guys. Sorry. I'm too broke to be going in cotton balls right now. It's Christmas. So the only downside so far is it kind of stings my eyes a little bit while I'm trying to get all this eyeliner off. This is the half that I used the makeup remover on. 
and this is all makeup that came off except for the parts that i personally couldn't reach because this isn't a cotton ball it's toilet paper i have to give it credit it removed like it, almost all of my makeup my skin doesn't feel greasy it doesn't feel oily two thumbs up for me that's it for my unboxing video I hope you guys liked it, and if you guys got the same box as well, let me know what your opinions are. Give it a thumbs up if, one, you're happy to see me back, and two, if you want to want me to do more videos like this. I'll put a link to my Instagram below, and I'll post pictures about all this stuff later as well. So, I love you guys. Hopefully, I'll see you guys soon. Subscribe if you guys aren't already, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!